joining us. What we're going to do is we're going to start with biology and go on to psychology, which is psychobiology. And out of that basic framework, we're going to move on to spirituality and sociology and put the whole ball of wax for you. And we'll be able to literally define the disease of addiction as a primary, chronic, neuroendocrine disorder of the brain and the autonomic nervous system. And autonomic means that you don't have the control you think you have, especially on the sympathetic part of that autonomic system. Dysregulation is the brain and body out of rhythm, distressed, out of order, without ease, experienced as a need for relief. Dysregulation is the allostatic load. We feel stark, raving, sober. By the time we reach adulthood, we have experienced in varying degrees all the core emotions, anger, sadness, fear, joy, and use this recorded information to form our perceptions. We remember an emotion more than a thought. Sometimes we become addicted to the emotion that thought brings and get stuck in a perpetual pattern of rotating thoughts flying off in any and every direction. What we think corresponds to how we feel and how we feel corresponds to how we think. We are being our feelings. Not only does alcohol and other drugs, including nicotine, prescribed or some over-the-counter medicines, such as painkillers, create imbalance in the biochemistry of brain cells. Some addictions do not involve drugs. Molecules secreted by our own bodies during certain situations or activities stimulate the same neural pathways as other chemical dependencies. Habits that produce strong sensations can also dysregulate the brain's reward pathways. 43% of us use food to change our mood. Sugar is one of the most addicting substances on the planet and is often teamed with the other brain body stressor, refined white starch. During Science Meets Recovery, keep in your heart the power you hold in your thoughts. Learning to connect our heart to our head, reconnecting to the essence of life, gives endless possibilities for the creation of a new self.